Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to start drawing vehicles in perspective, and we're going to start with some fairly simple boxy vehicles. We're going to do an SUV first. And the reason why is because uh, when we learn to draw boxes in space and drawing cylinders, um, starting with a fairly boxy vehicle is, a, is about the simplest way to explain how to start to construct a vehicle in perspective. So I'm going to start with a very, very faint horizon line. If you remember, we have our horizon line and then we have our vanishing points. Now, in this case, I want the vehicle to take up more of the page. So the vanishing points are actually going to be off the page and that's going to make things a little bit tricky, but we're going to, we're going to work through it and we're going to, you're going to understand how uh, to use the vanishing points to, to bring all of these different volumes and shapes together. So I'm going to start by drawing a couple of simple boxes. I'm going to start by sketching very, very lightly. I'm drawing a, a fairly rectangular box shape because it's going to be longer than it is wide. It's going to be the length of the vehicle and the width, which is slightly shorter. And this main box is going to be sitting just below the horizon line. As I said, these are, these are going to be con a converging towards two vanishing points that are off the page. And then I'm going to draw another box, which is going to be sitting on top of the first box. And that's going to be the, the passenger cabin or the greenhouse. And you'll see that the top of the vehicle is actually slightly above the horizon line. So I have two boxes, one sitting on top of the other. They're roughly equal in height, um, although the bottom box is going to be slightly taller, slightly thicker. And then I'm going to lean back the leading edge of this box because that's, that's going to be our, our windscreen. And I'll lean, lean the, uh, the rear of that box back as well. And I might just chamfer the leading edge of this box. Just, just put a little bit of an angled edge on it or, or a chamfer. And I might also clip off the bottom a little bit as well. So if you were to just take the the leading edge of that box and slice it at an angle up here and then slice it again at an angle down here. So you'll notice I'm keeping the lines very faint. That's because um, I always believe you keep it light until it's right. So you, you work out all of the major the, the major lines, the major proportions very lightly. And then as, as you start to uh, get everything in the right place, then you, then you can slowly build up the, the line work. So now I'm going to draw a, cu uh, a couple more lines, one about halfway through the body side, maybe, maybe just a little bit above. And then one that's just below an equal amount. And I'm going to make these I'm going to make some vertical lines and I'm basically sketching some planes. These are going to be, think of these as squares. They should, now we're in perspective, so they're foreshortened, but they should look generally as long as they are tall. It's going to take a little bit of uh, experimentation and practice to, to get this right, but you want it to look like if it were in a side view, it would be perfectly square. And that's going to be, um, that's going to help us set up the, the, the location 
size and orientation of our tires. Now, if you remember with, with SUVs, uh, the correct wheelbase is, is less than the five wheel diameters. It's gonna be more like four and a half. So I'm gonna draw a series of vertical lines. So I'll have about two and a half wheels in between, or two and a half squares. And these, these squares are actually sitting outside of the main, the main cube, right? The main body. Um, that, and that's because the tires are going to be kind of set outward from the body to give it a nice stance. So you can see I'm still working from the same, the same two vanishing points. Everything is converging towards, towards a, an imaginary vanishing point on either side of the page. Now you have, you have a main cube that represents the body of the vehicle. You have another box sitting on top, which is the, the cabin or the greenhouse of the vehicle. And then you have two more boxes that represent the front and rear wheel sets. And so I want to determine the, the exact center of those wheel sets. And so I'm going to draw an X through the box. So I'm going to connect the corners, the corners of the box. And that's going to give me the exact center position. And I'll do the same on the rear. And that's going to tell me where these wheel centers are. And now I'm going to draw an axle. Like that's, the axle is the, the center axis of rotation for the wheels. All right? And so now I know where the exact center of the wheels are. I know how wide and how tall the wheels need to be. But I also need to know the orientation of the ellipses. And so I'm going to draw another guideline which is basically a 90 degree a 90 degree major axis if you remember with cylinders the major axis or the longest part of the ellipse is always 90 degrees to the direction of the cylinder so now i have the correct width height and orientation for the front and rear wheels so now i'm going to start to slowly fill that that box or that square with an ellipse. And just keep it, keep it very light and build it up slowly. And that's how you correctly orient the wheels to the body. Now, since this is an SUV, I'm going to draw some, some wheel arches, which are going to be well outside of those tires to give, to give them plenty of room for suspension travel. And you can see I'm still following those, those same vanishing points. And since these are cylinders, I'm going to go ahead and connect the opposite side of the cylinder. I'm going to start to draw a center line on this SUV. It's very important that you know where the center of the vehicle is. A center line really helps to, or, to, um, to map out where the major design elements are on the front and rear.
So we're gonna keep the shape of this SUV very, very simple because we really wanna communicate those, those boxes, one sitting on top of the other. And then lastly, I'm going to draw the tread of the tires. So that would be the inside edge of the tire. And then I can also draw the far side tire. Draw some section lines for the body. Maybe a few character lines in the body side. But we're gonna keep this fairly, fairly flat. So this is a great example of drawing a two box vehicle in perspective, uh, one box sitting on top of the other. So you have a defined engine compartment and a defined passenger slash cargo compartment. And we've learned how to properly orient our wheels and tires. And as we progress in perspective, we're going to be drawing more and more complex shapes. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.